the same way as, as a pass repass. A we're just not repassing, we're ducking. Yeah. All right, so back for, to the uh, same position. He's going to dive through. He's going left hook, and I'm just dropping down. Now, everybody looked pretty good. A lot of times we struggle with that core and that windshield wiping of our body. That is crucial. And I'm going to explain to you why it's crucial. My top hand has to go under the leg. And this is be the most common mistake people make on their ankle ducks. They'll dive out, they'll get in good position, they'll windshield wiper their body, they'll do all this work and get to a good position to duck, and then they'll leave their arm under the leg and then sit up and try to start wrestling this position. And basically handcuff themselves into finishing. I need this hand desperately to finish this position when I duck an ankle, okay? But if I don't get my arm under, I'm going to handcuff myself. All right? So this is what we've got to make an adjustment. Heel come to my butt. In this windshield wiper position, everybody's getting real good. Now, when I windshield wiper, top hand comes under. Everybody see that? Top hand threads under as I windshield wiper my body. So now instead of just windshield wiper and under, when I windshield wiper under, top hand swims through. Now, as soon as I sit up, foot driving, this hand's looking for bottom shoulder. So I'm driving, driving, driving into this guy. Look, now stay on the foot, stay on the foot. I'm looking for bottom shoulder. Bottom shoulder, right here. I might get a cradle. I might get lucky here. But I'll tell you this. The number one thing that stops his scrambling other than my feet in the mat and getting his foot in the air and weight towards his head is finding his bottom shoulder in a scramble. Okay? If you just grabbed a guy that's pretty good at scrambling and you didn't know much and all you did was roll around and try to trap his bottom shoulder with one of your hands, you'd be surprised at how much little he can roll around. Okay? That's a crucial thing to stop in scrambling, finding his bottom shoulder. That keeps his leg passes out of the equation, ankle ducks, all kind of stuff. If I can get there, trap his shoulder to the mat, just like I would if I was running a Turk, okay? But if I trap that shoulder, there's not a lot of rolling around, okay? So say I, say I double leg him, and he leg passes right here, and I follow and follow. No more repassing, I'm gonna duck. So I dive out, two hands to the sock, windshield wiper, arm under, top hand under, heel to my butt, I'm sitting up to this hurdle stretch. I'm not out of the woods yet. I've got to drive off this foot and get weight over my foot. Then I'm starting to look bottom shoulder. The longer he hangs on, the worse it's going to get. Because I've got my legs back up under me. i got my feet back up under me. At this point, I'm just sprawling. I'm getting back to a normal baseline defensive position. If he hangs on, then like I said, I could step up here and start looking for some cradles. But worst case scenario, I shot a double. He tried to take me into some deep water scrambling, and I shut him down. Okay, so you can start with him diving through and you just getting your ducks, all right? And then you can do it with your double leg. And then again, no matter what leg he passes and what position, I've always got an ankle duck as the answer. So I could shoot a single leg. He could spin out and high leg over, right? Pass my leg. I could follow so duck, right? It doesn't matter when he passes or how he passes or what, he, what attack he passes out of. If I know an ankle duck and he passes my leg, I just stay with him. I stay woke. I keep following and I finish it off. So start just by diving out, ducking under and driving over your foot and then double leg. Maybe a single leg spin out. That way he's getting scramble reps on one end. I'm getting counter scramble reps on the other end. And that's how we just keep building and building and getting better and getting better. And then your confidence level goes through the roof. Questions? We good? Can you go through it or not? No. What? Can you go through, through it one more time to your duck? Sure, sure. And so once you get to the duck here, can you stop for quick? Sure. Through. So just dive through. Go. Go. Huh? Go. Right there. Just looking at what you're doing with your right hand. This hand is right. I mean, I know that's 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 your turf or, or your claw yeah. or your shoulder. I, I was wondering. I was. I wanted to see what you were doing with this. With you your can right. maybe hook the button. No, right. Yeah, post them. Post them. Post, 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 post okay. 100. This <laughs> is important. See, I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. 
Okay, head and chest are up, weight on my feet. If you want to attack bicep, you can, but that's not where I want to be. I want to be bottom shoulder. And I can't be nice about this. I can't be nice about this. Again, the longer he hangs on, the worse it's going to get for him. So as I duck, I'm getting tall. I'm getting tall with my chest, tall with my head. I'm working straight into him. Getting weight on my feet, getting my feet back to my body. Go. Okay. 